Have you ever wondered what happens when the sun sets on the moon and the lunar surface plunges into extreme cold temperatures? This is a story about India's Chandrayaan-3 mission, a tale of resilience, scientific discoveries, and the quest to wake up a sleeping rover and lander on the moon's surface. In the heart of summer, on July 14th, the Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO, launched the Chandrayaan-3 spacecraft. This mission was significant not only for India, but for the world, as it aimed to explore the moon's south polar region, an area rich with potential water ice resources. The journey to the moon, fueled by a less powerful rocket compared to the Apollo missions, took about 40 days. On August 23rd, the spacecraft successfully touched down on the lunar surface, making India the fourth country to land on the moon and the first to reach the polar region. The Chandrayaan-3, composed of the Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover, had a busy first lunar day. They confirmed the presence of sulfur on the lunar surface and detected minor elements. The Vikram lander even achieved a significant milestone by successfully undertaking a hop experiment, elevating itself by about 40 centimeters and landing safely a short distance away. This successful maneuver could have a significant impact on future missions, including those aiming to bring back samples from the moon and potential human missions. However, every lunar day must end, and with the setting of the sun on the moon, Vikram and Pragyan had to face the extreme lunar night. On September 2nd, the rover was put into sleep mode, followed by the lander two days later. The lunar night brings temperatures that can plunge below negative 200 degrees Celsius, a harsh environment for any technology to survive. Despite this, the ISRO kept the receivers on, hoping to re-establish communication with the lander and rover once the sun rose again around September 22nd. Yet despite their efforts, the ISRO has not received any signals from either Vikram or Pragyan. The silence from the lunar surface has not deterred the ISRO, and efforts to establish contact will continue. If the space agency manages to wake up the Vikram and the Pragyan, it could lead to more experiments and discoveries on the moon. To recap, the Chandrayaan-3 mission, launched by the Indian Space Research Organization, successfully landed on the moon's south polar region and made significant discoveries. The Vikram lander and the Pragyan rover are currently in sleep mode due to the lunar night's harsh conditions. The ISRO is persistently trying to re-establish contact with them, and any signal received would be a bonus for the space agency and the scientific community. So, as we wait for the sun to rise again on the lunar surface, we hold on to hope. Hope that the silence will break, and we will once again hear from the Chandrayaan 3's Vikram lander and Pragyan rover, continuing their mission of lunar exploration.